hello everyone. I just wanted to say I missed you all. I have been so busy and I have been wanting to upload and make this video for quite some time. However, due to the holiday and all of the craziness surrounding it, I was not able to do it. So today I'm able to um, get around to the Coco Martha's tag. You're it. Anika posed several questions to um, quite a few of us and I'm going to go ahead and start. So this is from the Coco Martha. This is her tag. She created it and asked several people <coughs> excuse me, what they thought. So I'm going to go ahead with question one and say how did you come up with your YouTube name? My YouTube name is Dear to My Heart. I actually answered this in one of my Girl Talk questions a while back. Um, as you all know, it's MMDO112800, and that stands for My Mother Died on November 28th, 2000. So, my YouTube name is very dear to my heart, um, is the way that, um, I just will never, you know, ever forget my mom. So, that's where I got my YouTube name from. Who or what inspired you to create a craft channel? I actually stumbled across YouTube um, I was looking for how to make tear beers. And one of the places that had a video on it was YouTube. And I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. Then on the sidebar, it had on there other different places, you know, you could go searching in YouTube. And one of them was the My Pink Stamper. Um, she did a craft room tour. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had never ever saw anyone's room as a crafter the way hers was. It was like beautiful to me. So I was like, oh my God, like I love it. Like I'm going to do my room. I had just like a table and some crates underneath it. And I just was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead on all out. And that's what um, inspired me to create a channel. Who who else inspired me was jo Julie Bean. She does not do a lot of videos, but at that time, that's when she had her bottle um, swap and I was like oh my god like crafters really like swap that's so nice and you know to do that so those two people actually inspired me to do a craft channel it was Jolie Bean and Robin who was my pink stamper did you another question is did you always love to craft with paper actually no not as a little girl I never really um, was the artsy type um, I came across scrapbooking because my fiance's mother asked me several years ago, about almost nine and a half years ago, to help her with making a scrapbook for my fiance's brother. And I enjoyed it so much that now, um, nine and a half years later, this is um, what came out of it. So sometimes when you go through life, you never know when you do things. This is what I always tell my son, that you never know where it's going to lead you to. So... The next question is, what the blankety blank don't you like? One of the things that I do not like about YouTube that crawls and gets under my skin. There are times where I just want to curse people out. But sometimes you just always have to have etiquette. But the one thing that gets on my nerves is the people who sign up for swaps and do not keep to their obligation. Just like you sign up for a swap, you contact the person, I want to be in your swap. I think it is just etiquette and it's just, um, you just contact the person and say, look, I can't do it. You don't have to give an explanation, go all into your business, say, look, I just cannot do it. I have had con people contact me from swaps that I've hosted. Soon as I put out the email, said, this is the group, the person contacted me and said, look, I'm so sorry, I can no longer be in your swap. Thank you for letting me know. I turned around, contacted the people, and said, look, instead of making 10 of this, now you had to make 9. And people can appreciate that. I just ask that you all be considerate when joining swaps. If you cannot do the swap, don't put your damn name in it. That's how I feel about it. I want to use some other words on it because it really gets under my skin for the people who do the shit. But anyway, excuse my French. Anyway... The next question is, what thing you want your subscribers to get from your channel? Uh, <coughs> I don't really, um, I don't know if people have really taken anything away from my channel. Most people say I am an enabler. 
So I guess that's the one thing that um, I guess I like to show. I like to show some of the new products. Sometimes people don't always get out or go out, you know, to the stores. Or some people just go to the stores and not shop online. And they don't know what's available. So you have like your online shoppers. And then you might have your people that go to Joanne's Michaels only. So I just like to show some of the latest stuff that's out there. Because I know I want to know the latest stuff out there. You know, so that's... Um, and I guess a good layer for once in a while. And then the next question is, what is your favorite company? Stamps, paper, etc. My new favorite company is Simple Stories. I love Simple Stories kits. Um, because I am doing the Project Life, I did do a lot of pages over the summer that I was not able to just really sit down, film a video, and get it on tape and show y'all. But I did get a lot of Project Life done on um, over the summer. So, Simple Stories and my second favorite company I would have to say is Echo Park. I love, love, love Echo Park. So, <clears throat> that is my two companies. Stamps, I wouldn't necessarily, oh, and my favorite stamp company, everybody know, my favorite stamp company is Technique Tuesday. I love it. I have been in um, the Technique Tuesday Stamp Club Studio a and &E for about two years now. So, that is my number one stamp company. Um, what's your zodiac is a Libra. I don't really get into the signs and what they mean and all that, but I'm a Libra. The next thing, what's new craft hobby are you interested in learning for 2013? I am not tech savvy at all. <clears throat> I'm not. And nobody in my house is. But the one thing that I love, I love looking at people and they have like the brushes on their pictures and they Photoshop different things or they make things. Um, I am scared of electronics. I went out and I brought, <coughs> excuse me, Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. And I am hoping that I do some more technical things for 2013 and not more, not really the paper side of it. I want to learn how to do the technical stuff, like to put the brushes on my pictures and I want to learn how to do the silhouette. I had my silhouette, I'm not going to say for how long because I'm ashamed. And it's still sitting in a box because I'm so scared of electronic stuff. I think that's probably why I never use my Gypsy because it's electronics. For some reason, that intimidates me. But I'm going to try to work on it. And I really want to learn how to do Photoshop. So if somebody is out there that's really good at it and also blogging, I'm not a big blogger at all. I think I posted maybe like two things <clears throat> Excuse me, on my um, blog. And I go to some people's blogs and it's so cute and they have all the companies and all the design teams that they're on and the music playing in the background and all their stuff is like so nice. I want to do that. So if somebody knows how to do that, inbox me please. Help a sister out. So that's what my thing is. I want to do blogging and also with the technical stuff for 2013. Did you ever think you would make a YouTube video? <clears throat> Which is the last question. I never thought that I would actually make a YouTube video video um i just didn't i just thought i would continue to watch forever and i never thought that anybody would ever um watch my videos and i just want to say thank you to all the people who do watch my videos but i just never thought that anybody would sit down and watch my videos um i just never thought that i would meet the people that i have met you know met there are several um, people who are on here that are sweethearts that I've come to know and I love them dearly like a sister we've gotten really close on here and I just want to say that YouTube can be a platform for people who are generally kind um, to want to meet but there are people out here that are rude and ignorant and only think of themselves and um, are just not good people to be in a company of. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I will list the people down the bottom and I'll also inbox them. But I just want to say thank you, Anika, for starting this tag. It was um, wonderful um, making this video. Bye bye, everyone.